This is number two. And say why it goes 14 to 3. So why does 15 equal 14 and 3 thirds? So move the mail in so we can see all the count those. Okay, can you just check? Right, so how is 15 the same as 14 and 3 thirds? Go ahead and put a number in for each one. Go one, two, one. That would be 15 or 14 and. That's it. 14 to 2. I think that's. that's three. Three. This is number three. Why don't we set? Number three, uh, number three on page 61 of the line. Number three, everybody. What's, what's the first thing you notice wrong with this problem you can't do? You can't subtract fractions that don't have one. Well, common denominator. Well, you know you're going to have to borrow. But if we, first of all, we don't have a common denominator. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, so how do we change that? Use your, <laughs> use the, yeah, and draw a little too. I don't draw think an arrow. Can reach that. Connor, please stop. <laughs> right. Okay. So what you do to the bottom, you got to do to the top. If you can reach it. Get a chair something. Nope. She's got it. What's one times two? Over there. She's got it. No. Oh. The bad bottoms are going to stay the same. You want to use this to stay the same. And you can put that all the way across if you want to. Just say one and nine times all the way across. Now we know we need, can you put one and nine to the So explain there, Lexi, how, what's wrong with this part of this problem? Right, so you have to put the bottom. Okay, so cross off and sit. This cut, this was it. So they need to do that. But what's the whole number there now? Yeah. Mr. Karen, how did she get 12? Oh, somebody raise your hand and tell, like, thank you. How did he get, she get 12? Well, when you no uh, made the 6 to 5, what you do is you do 10 plus 2 equals 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. 5 and 12 tenths is the same as 6 and 2 tenths. <coughs> All we did was borrow from the whole number. Tell me, what is it? Maybe I have a quick one. Okay, why don't you figure this out while Austin explains this to you? Three. <laughs> you got it. Is that it? What? Cut, that's it. How do we stop it? Okay, so this is no problem number one on page 61 of the book. What's the problem with this one? The problem is you can't um, subtract nine. Yeah, you can. <laughs> nine <laughs> is minus 65. Okay, yeah. So what's the wrong? Daddy, explain what's wrong with the fraction. You can't do this, um, one minus five. So we have to change 9 into okay, 8. Usually, right, usually you write 8 to show how you're changing. And then we have to do that. And then we change that 
Draw some arrows to explain where that came from. Because who and in this class right now is going, where did that nine come from? And then we Thank added, you for asking. And then we added eight plus one equals nine. So nine, eight, and nine, eight. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, so I'm not, I can't see that. Okay, you're can't, No, you can't see it on the camera, oh, on the camera. at all. All right, so let's do this. Let's go. You got to make it a bright, brighter color. Oh, I have blue. Okay, stay right there. Okay, draw that back. Okay. Okay. Black sage. Did you guys get it where that eight plus one is? Yeah. And then this should just say the same. Okay, so now you let him, let him finish it. Here's the black ink. Eight minus. Say what you're doing. You're doing eight minus six, aren't you? Yeah, eight minus six. And stand to the side so the camera can see what you're writing. And write it ginormously. Humongously crazy big. There you go. And the tiny fraction next to it. Perfect.